This is Witchspace News for Friday the 24th of July 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Frontier attempts a temporary easing of the Tritpocalypse. There's some more community management changes at Frontier. The Gnosis is retiring and Operation Ida completes. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The splash damage from Carrier Patch 3 continued this week with no patch as of yet forthcoming to address the mineral availability issues in ring systems. Frontier have acknowledged that as you'd expect a further patch is in the works but as at the time of going to press we don't yet know when to expect it or what to expect it to include. As an interim measure to help ease at least some of the carrier based range anxiety that is currently prevalent throughout the galaxy Frontier took the somewhat unusual step of topping up the tritium depot of every single carrier in the galaxy to give them a full tank of go go juice again while they continue to work the problem. Whilst not explicitly stated it's a fair bet that the team is keen to ensure that they've got the adjustment right this time so that may be why it's taking slightly longer than usual to reach the game. In other Frontier related news there has been a small bit of team shuffling within the community management arm of the Cambridge developers. Tim Smith who only recently joined the Elite Dangerous arm of Frontiers operations is moving on to become the community lead for Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo and Jurassic World Evolution. Paul Crowther will be sliding into the free slot on Elite Dangerous joining Steven Benedetti and Bruce Garrido with the team being headed up by Arthur Tolmy as they move into the Odyssey era. It was announced recently that the Gnosis, the player guided megaship owned by the player group Canon Research is to be retired in September. The massive research vessel was, for the longest time, quite unique in its ability to jump 500 light years at a time under the guidance of Canon whilst ultimately still being controlled by Frontier. However, in the brave new era of entirely player owned and run mega ship fleet carriers the ships abilities have become somewhat more ubiquitous in the galaxy and it would be tough to see where the venerable research vessel would find its place. At the end of its current chain of jumps the Gnosis will enter into a cyclical series of fixed jumps that will essentially become a scientific tour of the bubble. The Gnosis will forever be part of Elite history as the game moves forward into the new era. After all who can forget the infamous Gnosis incident that saw the vessel hyperdicted by Thargoids and resulted in the deaths of countless commanders in unarmed exploration vessels before they'd even lifted off the landing pads. In more recent times the huge ship spent some time wedged into the superstructure of a space station after, let's call it a misjump. To mark the retirement of the Canon flagship Commander Darwin of Canon Research is hosting a series of Gnosis weekender visits from their fleet carrier. Details for the weekend long expeditions to the ship can be found in the link below. As expected Operation Ida completed their final station repair early this week after burning through the last 5 stations in just a matter of days no pun intended. With the Thargoid war apparently on an extended hiatus and no new station attacks happening the mega hauling organisation is taking a well earned rest but they do have plans in place to stock up a fair few fleet carrier holds with thousands of tons of at least some of the usual commodity suspects should they suddenly be needed again. If the Thargoids decide to get shirty Ida will be ready and waiting to clear up the mess. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.